In this session, we'll understand the equivalent circuit of induction motor, the derivation of an equivalent circuit, and the understanding of equivalent circuit. Now, what's an equivalent circuit? An equivalent circuit is a circuit that represents the physical behavior of the system or of any machine. It will help us understand the steady state properties of the system. It will help us in analysis of the steady state properties of the system, such as the determination of power losses, the calculation of efficiency, etc. Uh, now, talking about the equivalent circuit of an induction motor, it is somewhat similar to that of a transformer. If we take uh, a case of an open rotor induction motor, uh, the equivalent circuit of a transformer and the equivalent circuit of an open, open rope uh, the equivalent circuit of an open rotor induction motor are same. This is the equivalent circuit of a transformer. We can say this is also the equivalent circuit of an open rotor induction motor where the rotor of the induction motor is kept open. Here VT is the applied voltage. Uh, R1 is the resistance of the primary winding or we can say of the stator winding of the induction motor. R2 is the resistance of the secondary winding or of the rotor windings. X1 is the inductive reactance owing to the leakage flux associated with the primary uh, winding or the stator winding. X2, it is the inductive reactance owing to the leakage flux associated with the rotor winding. How these inductive reactances are generated, we have already studied that in case of transformers. Rm and Xm represent the resistance and reluctance of the magnetic part. Uh, Uh, before we understand the uh, equivalent circuit of induction motor, we need to understand two more things. One is the slipping slip of the induction motor. Slip actually represents the percentage difference of the rotor speed from the synchronous speed of the induction motor, uh, where NS is the synchronous speed, NR is the shared speed or the rotor speed, given by the equation NS minus NR over NS. Now, how this plays a role in equivalent circuit of induction motor, we'll see to that. Secondly, we need to understand the conditions under which the motor operates. Uh, condition number one, if the EMF induced in the rotor circuit, EMF induced in the rotor should not be zero, that means NR should not reach the synchronous speed. If this happens, the EMF induced in the rotor will be zero. Secondly, the magnetic locking should not take place between the stator magnetic field and the rotor magnetic field. Both these two conditions were described how we uh, solve them construction wise what arrangements are made so that the emf induced is not zero as well as the magnetic locking does not take place now the equivalent circuit of induction motor we need to derive it step wise uh, this is the equivalent circuit of the transformer we short the rotor circuitry uh, that is the first step in the derivation of uh, induction motors equivalent circuit short the rotor circuitry secondly uh, let's see the behavior let's see what happens because of the slip uh, we know that the rotor is rotating at a speed of nr and the magnetic field is rotating at the synchronous speed so the relative velocity between the two is ns minus nr that is the induced emf in this case will be proportional to the slip of the induction motor so if e is the voltage on the primary side s times e will be the uh, voltage on the secondary side of the induction motor. Uh, as far as the frequency is concerned, similarly, uh, if F is the frequency on the status side, S times F will be the frequency on the rotor side. This is obviously because the rotor is rotating at a different speed from the synchronous speed. Now we know that reactance is equal to 2 pi FL. So if F is S times F, uh, so the rotor side reactance will become s times x2 lastly we need to refer the rotor side circuitry to the primary side circuitry that is the status side of the induction motors we know here that the rotor is rotating at a speed different from that of the uh, magnetic field the rotating magnetic field uh, so all the resistances and reactances on the rotor side will get divided by s as they are referred to the stator uh, since our reactance was S times GX2, it becomes only GX2 on the stator side. And our resistance on the rotor side was R2, it becomes R2 by S on the stator side. So this is the final uh, equivalent circuit of the induction motor that will be used 
or analysis or calculation of different uh, power losses or efficiency calculations for power or power flow diagram equations. Uh, we'll continue with the power flow diagram equations uh, in the next session.